uh, to sum up the discussion of uh, previous slides um, I have uh, concluded all the three equations uh, in this single slide so equation number one represent the classical Gruber's equation uh, so any of the mechanism which has only one fixed or grounded link then you can use equation number one which is m equal to 3l minus 2j minus 3g if there are more than one grounded or fixed links in a mechanism then equation number one is not valid you cannot use equation number two but instead of equation number one you can utilize or you can use equation number two to find mobility or degree of freedom of mechanism so if there are more than one grounded links then you can use equation number two which is m equal to three multiplied by l minus one close in the bracket minus two j please keep this point in your mind that if there are more than one grounding links or fixed links in a mechanism and the number can be any like two three four five six and you can count them if there are more than one grounded or fixed links in a mechanism then you have to count all the grounded link equal to one i will repeat again if there are more than one or grounded or fixed links in a mechanism then you have to equate all the grounded or fixed link equal to one all the grounded or fixed link become one so if you can see a presence of half joint in a mechanism supplemented by more than one grounded links then equation number two is invalid then you have to use equation number three to find mobility or degree of freedom so there are more than one grounded links in a mechanism and also the presence of half joint in a mechanism then you can use equation number three which is m equal to three multiplied by l minus one close brackets minus two j one minus j two j one represents the number of full joints j2 represents number of half joints l represents the number of links and uh, uh, g the capital g it represents the grounded number of grounded links whereas m represent the degree of freedom or mobility it's time to count the degree of freedom of any of the mechanism so to practice uh, um, um, the counting of degree of freedom let's consider the first, first example here so it's a complex mechanism which has many links and joints so we have to count how much uh, how many degree of freedom of this mechanism has so um, as you can see uh, there are more than one ground links we can count one ground link, two ground link, three ground link, and the fourth ground link. So if the ground links are more than one, then we have to choose equation number two to, to determine the degree of freedom. So formula is M, the degree of freedom or mobility is equal to three multiplied by L minus one, bracket close, minus two J. L represents the number of links, J represents the number of joints. So we need, uh, we have to count the number of links and joints in this mechanism. Uh, before counting the number of uh, links, uh, I have to point out um, uh, one thing for you guys. So please pay attention to this point that uh, in this mechanism we have four grounding links, uh, grounding number one, grounding number two, ground link number three and ground link number four so we have to count this four link as a single link 
I will repeat again we have to count these four grounded links as a single link so let's count the number of links link number one which is the ground link and we are considering these four links as a single link one two three four four ground link as a single link it's a number one link number two link number three four link five link six link seven link and this sliding join link so the number of links are eight we have to put the value of l is equal to eight now we have to count the number of joins so before counting number of joins um, i will request you to please pay attention uh, to one point uh, which is here this mechanism basically has a joint which uh, is joining multiple links so the same joint is is, is joining link number three to link number four and also this joint is uh, joining this link three to uh, three and four to link number five so this joint is a multiple joint so we have to count this joint for two times why because this joint is joining link number three and four and also this joint is joining this link number five to link three and four i will repeat again this is a multiple joint and we have to count this joint for two times why two times because this joint is joining link number three to four and the same joint is joining link number five to these two joints so let's count the number of joints joint number one joint number two joint number three and joint number four joint number five joint number six joint number seven joint number eight joint number nine and sliding joint number ten i will count the joint number of joints again please pay attention to this joint number one joint number two joint number three and again joint number four because we have to count this joint for two times joint number five joint number six joint number seven joint number eight joint number nine and this sliding joint ten number of joints are ten formula is completed just do the simple uh, arithmetics and you will get the answer m is equal to 1 this means this whole mechanism has one degree of freedom the mobility or degree of freedom is equal to 1 to practice more let's uh, go to second example